Good morning students. Today we will discuss about transaction management. A transaction is a collection of operations that form a single logical unit of work. Okay, let me give an example for what is a transaction. A transaction, here if you see that we have seven operations. Let me discuss what is this operation read A. Read A means we are reading the content from the data item A. Write A is we are temporarily saving the modifications on in the memory. Commit operation or we will have about operation. Commit operation says that you are permanently saving the modifications in the database. Now here what is the operation we are what is the operations we are we are performing is we are subtracting the 5 from A and performing addition to the addition 5 to the B. Okay this is the task we are performing using these seven operations okay so this this one i can call it as a task now each transaction should follow some properties those properties we will call it as acid properties where a stands for atomicity c for consistency i for isolation and d for durability let me discuss each property in a detail for better understanding now what is atomicity is if you have some seven operations in a transaction, either you should execute all the operation or you should not execute any one. We can simply say that all or none. Okay. Suppose let's say that you started executing the transaction. Okay. You executed up to three operations. Because of some problem, you could not able to further execute this remaining operations. Okay. Then what we have to do is that we have to roll back. Meaning is that you should not update this modification and you should roll back. Okay. <coughs> is it clear? So you either you should, should execute all the operations or you should not execute any one of the operations. But you should not stop in between. Okay. Now come to the consistency. Consistency says that whatever the modifications you are doing, it should be consistent. Suppose let uh, to explain it proper way, I will give a small example. Let's take that A value is initially 10, okay? B value is 20. If I perform A plus B, now I will get 30, okay? Now I started executing this transaction, okay? Read A, I am reading the value 10. A is equal to A minus 5. Now A value will become 5. Write A, we are saving it. Read B, it will read the value 20. Now B is equal to B plus 5. Now B will be updated to 25. Okay. Now if I display A plus B, it is displaying 30 for me. So before executing this transaction, I got the A, A plus B is 30. After executing this transaction also, A plus B is 30. So then I can say that this is a consistent transaction. Okay. If I am not getting the same result, then I can say that it is not consistent. Okay, so we have discussed about what is atomicity and what is consistency. Let me discuss about isolation. Isolation means when we are executing set of transactions in parallel. Okay, we will not execute the transactions in a serial way. If you execute the transactions in a serial way, we cannot increase the performance of our database. So, if I want to execute all the transactions in a parallel, but they should be executed in an isolated way. Meaning is that, let me explain with a small example for better understanding. Let's state that I am using IRCTC website. But at the same time, lot of people in the India and outside India may be using the IRCTC website. Using this IRCTC website, I want to book a ticket from Hyderabad to Chennai. Okay, and I want to book a train for Charminar Express. Okay, on some first June two thousand twenty. Okay, on first June two thousand twenty, I want to book a train Charminar ticket for Charminar Express Hyderabad to Chennai. Okay, now whether I alone booking at the same time, there is a chance that others are also trying to book for the Charminar Express, but. Once when I am entering my details, only my details only will be displayed because 
for me it looks like that i am only booking the train ticket for the charner express but in parallel others can also book a ticket for the charner express so what i want to say that in parallel so many transactions will be executed but when you are executing a transaction it should looks like that you are alone executing so that's what we can say that they should be executed in a isolated way now what is meant by durability durability says that what are the changes you have done on the transaction they should be persistent okay even if the system fail you fails also okay let me discuss again what is the durability you have executed some transaction okay what are the changes you have done to the database okay you have done the a is equal to a minus 5 so a value will become 5 and b value is 25 after executing this transaction a is 5 and b is 25 okay and you have performed the commit meaning is that these values are term, term, sorry, permanently stored in the database once this operation is performed you sh if what are the changes were done in the database they should be persistent even if the system fails in the future so that is what the durability says okay i hope you have understood what is a transaction and what are the properties of a transaction okay thank you so much if you are really liking my teaching please like the videos share the videos with your friends and subscribe to my channel for regular updates thank you so much